What is up guys and welcome back to another Tuesday's Tips and today I'm going to be going over three things that you might be doing that's really hurting your duck hunting success. So let's go ahead and get in this video and get it started right now. first point I want to bring up is in that you guys hear this a lot. You hear it all the time, but I think it's one of those topics that you just really can't stress enough, and that's concealment. If you've got birds in your area and they're just not cooperating, a high percentage of the reason why is because they're picking you out. They're seeing you. It could be that your decoys are do too close to you and you need to push your decoys out a little further away from you so the birds don't pick you out. You may have too many hunters. It's a lot easier to hide two people than it is to hide five people. It could be that your blind brush doesn't match your surroundings, which is very important too. If you can't do that, like in some states, I know you can't cut trees and make your own kind of little makeshift blind for that day. So what you can do is you can take, if you can find some canes, some cane trees, they stay green year round, Ducks are used to them because they grow in wetlands and you can get you some of those and stick them around you. They make a great blind. They don't bother the ducks. I've, I've had Mallers light right in front of them. It's just a great natural source that's out there that you can use and it's highly effective. But again, another tip that you can do is you can walk out from your blind. Walk out about 50 or 60 yards and look back and have the guys get up, stand up, and move around and act like they normally would. And there's where you're going to be able to pick up where the ducks might be picking you guys out and seeing you and make the adjustments that you need to make to get better hit. Another one, guys, is that you may have not figured out how to read birds yet. And this comes with time. It comes with a lot of hunting. But if you'll start now and really start honing in on paying attention to birds and how they react in the sky, how they react on the water, how they react to calling, decoys, windy days, non-windy days, cloudy days, sunny days. Knowing all these things is really gonna benefit you this coming up duck season. You need to know why birds may be coming to an area and is it to loaf, is it to get fresh water, is it to get you know some food that might be there? You need to know these things. And this is really gonna benefit you knowing how those ducks are coming and where. And a lot of this comes with scouting, but for you guys out there that don't have time to scout, you gotta go just hunt on a whim, you know, sometimes that's that's me. I only get a couple of days off and I don't have I'm working all week, so I don't have time to go scout. I just gotta go hunt. But this really comes to you paying attention to how those birds are behaving and how they're reacting to things in that area. And this is gonna help you guys out a lot this coming up duck season. The other thing guys that I wanna to talk to you about is your hunting partner and who you're choosing to go hunt with. This could have a big effect on your duck hunting career and your success for duck hunting. You want to be real picky and choosy about who you duck hunt. I know I am, and the, I have my reasons for that. You know, you don't want to hunt with the guys that are always late, who never want to go that extra mile, who don't want to walk that far, or that's too much work, or, you know, I, I didn't see any birds go over there, you know, and all that. You just, you want somebody who's going to be encouraging, who's as just as committed and as passionate as you are, I know these. sometimes these guys are hard to find. It, it can even be your best friend and that you guys just don't, when you go hunt together, you don't see eye to eye and you're basically enabling each other. Find somebody who's going to push you to become a better hunter. That's who I try to hunt with. I hunt with guys who I know they're just as passionate about waterfowl as I am and they're always willing to go above and beyond to get to wherever the ducks may be going or whatever we gotta adjust, the hide, the decoys, reading the birds, how they're reacting. You want somebody on that same, with that same mentality as you have and how you're, how you're looking at things. This is very important. 
If you don't like who you're hunting with, I highly recommend that you start hunting with somebody else. There's always a lot of things that you can say about waterfowl and go over and waterfowl and talk about all the gear and the equipment and, you know, uh, concealment and all these things, you know, and it can get really overwhelming. I hope this video kind of narrows some things down for you. There's just, you know, some things that don't get talked about, and I know I dove in a little deep, but, you know, always concealment, number one, learning how to read the ducks, very important, and choosing the right people to hunt with. These things are going to have big effects on your duck hunting season, and I hope that you implement them, and I hope that it makes your duck hunting experience a lot better. Thank you guys for watching the video today. I really appreciate it. If you like it, hit that subscribe button. As always, hit that thumbs up. Drop a comment down below on what you think. Check out, we're doing weekly streams on the Delta Flock. I'll drop the Instagram right here. You guys go give us a follow on Instagram. You can follow me as well at Magnolia underscore Flyways. Again, hit that sub button, guys, and look forward to our weekly videos coming up, and I'll catch y'all on the next one.